people that succeed quit quitting when things get hard. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without these struggles, without the pain. And if you want to be something great, you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe. Stay positive, stay focused, and most importantly, stay strong. Life is always going to throw in your way. Things that will test you, things that will make or break you. And you've got two options. You can just stand there and take it like a little bitch. Or you can smash through the fucking thing and move on with your life. You can either be a victim of your life or the master of it. The choice is yours. We have tons of information available to us, okay? But the difficult part is we don't have a lot of individuals who have the ability to process information at a quick rate. The ones that can excel, and we call them cleaners in the book, they're so well prepared at their task, no matter what variable is thrown at them, what circumstance, they can adjust and they can get that end result. And that's taking something that an individual who's just in a playoff situation, you literally get off the plane, you have an hour to figure out what's going on, how to fix it. It might only be a temporary fix, but it's going to get you the end result for that particular game. Most people, when the game ends or they sign a contract, they exhale. The champions never exhale. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition, and the next audition, and the next audition. I prayed. I prayed. And I prayed. But I continued to fail, and fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're going to get a haircut. You will win if you don't quit. You will win if you don't quit. Even a broke clock is right twice a day. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, if you easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it. When you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make. There's a quote from uh, one of my English teachers at Lower Marion named uh, uh, Mr. Fisk. He had a great quote that said, rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something I always live by. You know, I'm not going to rest. I'm going to keep on pushing now. There are a lot of answers that I don't have, even questions that I don't have. But I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going, and I'll figure these things out as we go, right? And you just continue to build that way. So that, I try to live by that all the time. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. And some people will get it and some people won't. But they have to see what their journey is to start their journey. Several people live to be 100 years old and they have great lives and they have great kids. Their kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a, get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. 
get a reward for it. And guess what? People rock with me because I know what you've been through and I didn't quit. I know what you've been through and I didn't stop. I know what you've been through and I didn't whine. You know what I did? I got my reward for it. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. It's about heart. You gotta have heart. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever.